Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. Yesterday, I didn't record anything because I was in the dark room. And I really don't like the way that footage comes out because, well, I sit in that room to use the light box and, so, and sort of listen to stuff on the iMac. Um, it's quite a busy car day outside, so sorry about that. But basically, guys, I'm really excited because I have got all my final pages penciled out. Yeah. I'm really excited because yesterday I was just like, I'm gonna sit down and just do it, get on with it. It's more, but I don't wanna show you. And yeah, I did them and it took all day, which actually I was quite surprised because I thought it would take me longer than that. I was like, oh, okay, it's gonna take me the week to do all the line work. But yesterday I just sat down, pesto, why? Yesterday I just sat down and I decided I'm gonna do it. And I think what really helped was a change of art material. So I used this soft series black pencil instead of this one, which was really slowing me down. But what I'm gonna do is go back over the lines as I color it. And basically before I started, I think the pencil was probably about this size yesterday. So yeah, it's getting there. I was really worried that I was gonna run out of pencil and I would have to use yet another black pencil. But I got to the end and with a little time to spare, guys. I think there's like obviously imperfections on the pages, but what I'm gonna do is I go along coloring it. I'm gonna be able to just fix those or go over them with the black pencil and maybe just once I scan them in into Photoshop as well, I can. there's little things that I need to fix on each page, so that editing process is gonna take a little bit of time as well. But yeah, it's getting there and I'm really excited. Yeah, I don't know what to say, like it's just, I've come such a long way and I think the final push of doing those pages really helped me to believe in myself. I was like, just do it, because I know in my head that I can do it, but I was just, like stopping myself because I think I was scared of messing it up but I didn't mess it up it happened and it's pretty cool I guess we're coming near the end of these kind of vlogs I think because once I start editing on the computer they will the vlog will be a little bit different I'll show some of that process but once that's I guess that will be it and then I'll launch the Kickstarter or whatever it is that I'm planning on doing I might do an Indiegogo which is less prestigious and doesn't really have the same audience but I think because I'm in Gibraltar I had issues with Kickstarter last time um, trying to put my address down connected with my bank because my bank is in the UK um, in England no in Wales <laughs> and I live in Gibraltar, so it's a bit of a, an issue. Tax-wise, which I guess um, is understandable, like they can't just change the system because one person is living in Gibraltar and wants to fund a Kickstarter. <laughs> or I might do just pre-orders, I'm not sure yet. I think pre-orders might be the way to go and then just send it out to people who want it. Might be a bit more exciting. I don't know, Kickstarter's pretty exciting, but I don't know, I'm a bit scared of doing a Kickstarter again. I keep saying Kickstarter, but I mean Indiegogo or something. If I get 10 people, People, then that will probably be enough to print it because I think it's gonna be mm, just trying to I need to figure out all the costs really and think of it uh, in a business perspective not just an artistic way of I want to print it you know what was really helpful to me actually this weekend because people keep asking me how do I stay motivated and stuff and this weekend I think I really said to myself I'm not gonna do any work I'm just gonna take the weekend off and I'm gonna relax and we went to my parents house so if I'm away from my house it kind of helps because if I'm sitting here trying to relax I keep thinking well I'll just draw whilst I do this or I'll just do that whereas I went to my parents and I only took like my sketchbook and stuff and I was like nope not gonna work and it was really good because Monday I felt really pumped to like get on with it and obviously it paid off because I finished all the line work which which is craziness to me I can't believe I finished it and now just the coloring to go and that is super super exciting oh I want to show you guys one panel that I think you'll like but I don't want to spoil but I know that we discussed going a little bit abstracty so there's one point where de -de -de, with editing where it goes a bit wonky and I really like that it just goes a little bit wonky, and I think that's cool. You can see like a hand there and stuff, but you know, that's a little mini spoiler for you. Something spooky is gonna happen to her. We're not confused by that. Another thing I need to do is figure out the typeface now, which is something that's really bothering me because I wanna get the, the words onto the paper because I think that's what's gonna tie it all together. Right now, we have this final page, but it doesn't, 
work because there's no words. Um, you need the words. I think it just brings it all into a little nice neat ball. And yeah, obviously I've like written stuff here, so I don't know if I'm gonna go with that type of typography, and I think so. I think I wanna do it handwritten because I think it would fit with the vibe and the style. But I also, I haven't really explored doing anything digital, um, just having like digital fonts, which would probably be easier in a sense, but wouldn't look as good. I don't know. It's all come into a head and it's really exciting and I'm really happy. The weight has kind of been lifted a little bit on the fact that I've done the line work, I know that the goal is in sight kind of thing because I've always been like, oh, it's such, it's so far away. I thought it was, just, it was just gonna take a long time than I had originally thought. But now it's, it's, it's happening and I'm really excited. 17. So it's gonna be 19 pages and then I'm gonna do a pattern cover to sort of go here before it, the story begins. And yeah, then you need to do the cover, which is something that I'm terrified of as well because I have no idea what I'm gonna put on the cover. It might have to be The Lighthouse or something like that, which would be quite interesting. The title is Emily is Burning. Decided to stay with Emily, but just because it has a certain ring to it and maybe it is a nod to Emily Carroll slightly because I, I subconsciously came up with that name even because of her name was next to me, her book. So I think like Emily is Burning is a, is a cool, cool name. I actually thought of the title before I thought of anything, any of the story. I just liked the way that sounded and I thought like, I want to do a horror comic. And I did like a fake cover back then and I realised, yeah, I really want to do this. And it's something I've thought about doing for a while because last year for my Slice of Life comic, I for like Halloween week, I drew a comic every day of like spooky stories that people have told me that not necessarily happened to me, but happened to other people. And I really liked um, doing that. So I thought, you know what, why not uh, continue doing what you like? Right? Follow that joy, as I keep suggesting. I guess I can't really do a conclusional... Conclusional? That's not a word. A conclusion to this because I haven't finished it, but I think once I have, I'm gonna say things that I've learned from the process and really talk in depth about what helped me to create this. Um, but I think something that has been major that I can't ignore is the fact that I have you guys spurring me on a little bit and, um, telling me that you like it and watching these vlogs and saying what you like about the pieces, saying what you don't like, giving me advice and inspiration, telling me that I'm inspiring you, your work. That has really helped me push through some moments where I've had a lot of self-doubt. So thanks, really, you guys are amazing and thanks so much for your help, really. As I'm trying to be sincere here, there's somebody scraping something out there out on their balcony, so thanks for that. I'm trying to be an open person to my audience here. And I have to make a joke as well. I can't just be like, yay, thank you, guys. I have to make a joke, I have to laugh it off. Sigh. everybody it is Wednesday morning the morning of this vlog and I just have a couple things to show you from yesterday that I didn't show you so this is just a scan and then I was working out some typography just to see how like stuff would look and I hated that so here's another one and I just did like different kind of styles of type and I don't know I, I just wanted to see how it looked with the imagery basically and I really like the way that this one sort of looked very tight and very like kind of longer and more rough it definitely had to be handwritten because I just think that looks better with this style of comic because it's so obviously hand drawn and rough and textured that it had to be handwritten it just didn't I mean you can get types that look handwritten but I think it just I just, I feel like I've created everything in this with my hands. I wanted to do the typography as well. And yesterday I was also working on the cover. You can see I've done some alphabet studies and then just like some different things. I did some thumbnails of what the cover might look like. 
and I did like a bigger study I was thinking I was going to do it in watercolours and I think this is kind of the concept I want it's obviously very rough and the watercolours got very muddy but I I'm not sure if I want to do it in watercolours but I think it would be cool to have it slightly different style than it is in the book so that might be fun I need to make the colours more like this though than this murkiness obviously bring out what is actually in the book into the cover even though it is watercolours so this is sort of where I got the handwritten stuff I quite like the way it looks but in Photoshop I'm gonna have to just edit the way that it sits in each bubble so this needs to come down a little bit and this needs to come down a little bit this one's fine over here we've got like a lot more speech so like this I need to sort out the spacing between the sentences and stuff but I quite like the way it looks and obviously it's going to look nicer once I fiddle with it in Photoshop so the pages are coming along nicely um, some sneak peeks for you guys I've got 10 more pages to colour and then once I've done that that's it that's them all coloured and I just need to do all the typography scan them all in and it's ready to go and I'm so excited and I think I'm going to start working on a Kickstarter this week. And if you guys don't know, Dina Norland has started her Kickstarter, which is a children's book called Grey Legs, and it looks amazing. So you guys should definitely go check that out. She's trying to reach her goal of 10k, which I think is really doable for her. So if you guys like her style and her book, then I really suggest buying it because then you can help her out to create more books, and it's going to be really exciting for her. But yeah, this is where I'm at. I think it's looking really cool, don't you? I, I hope you do. This is the colouring that we worked on on the stream, so if you want to see this being coloured in, that's on my last stream. Ooh, it's really nice to see all the pages coming together like this. I'm really excited to be honest with you. I'm sorry that this vlog is a bit short this week just because obviously I haven't really got that much to show you now because these final pages are obviously going to spoil it well I don't really want to spoil it so I'm not sure how many more vlogs this we've got left um, I'll obviously show you okay there was a helicopter but I'll obviously show you the final processes and hopefully printing the book and the Kickstarter doing like a walk you through that I hope to do that anyway it might be quite fun but yeah this is all coming together and I think I might make a mock booklet of this once it's done so I'll definitely show you guys that so stick around and um, I'm gonna sign off thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more and I will see you next time I just want to give a shout out to my top tier patrons for supporting me those guys are Cecile, James, Lee and Steph, Megan, Tom and Tim these guys are the real MVPs and if you want a shout out at the end of my videos then go check out my Patreon. Bye!